The movie The Kerala Story has caused a lot of controversy and is set to release in theaters on May 5th. The teaser of the movie released in November 2022 claimed to unveil the story of 32,000 women, but the trailer released last week says it's only about 3 girls. Now, let's look at how accurate are the claims made by The Kerala Story. The film claims to be based on real events with its caption saying uncovering the truth that was kept hidden but there seems to be little evidence to support its claims The film's plot follows the story of a group of women from Kerala who are converted to Islam through force or deceit and go on to join the ISIS The director Sudeep Tosin has stated that he has evidence to support that around 32000 girls from Kerala have gone missing supposedly after being forcibly converted to Islam but Sen has not made the evidence public During an interview on a YouTube channel Sen claimed that in 2010 former chief minister Umman Chandi presented a report in the Kerala assembly that stated approximately 2800 to 3200 girls were being converted to Islam every year Sen stated that these figures when calculated over 10 years would result in 32000 to 33000 girls however Chandi denied these figures when questioned by Sen The Indian Express attempted to locate any 2010 documents that mention these figures but was unable to find any evidence to support Sen's claims. The movie also claims that many girls from Kerala were recruited by the Islamic State to become jihadi fighters. The IS terrorist group first came to the attention of Indian intelligence agencies in 2013 after reports suggested that some Indians were fighting with IS in Syria. Since then few Indians have traveled to Iraq and Syria to join IS. Some were arrested on their return from Syria or while preparing to join the fighters there. In 2019, 155 people were arrested by the National Investigation Agency and state police forces for being ISIS operatives and sympathizers. Compared to India's Muslim population, the number of Indian recruits in IS has been very small. According to a US State Department report titled Country Reports on Terrorism 2020 India, there were only 66 known Indian origin fighters affiliated with the ISIS. According to a 2019 report by the Observer Research Foundation, Kerala accounts for the majority of India's IS recruits with about 40 cases out of 180 to 200 across the country. Most of them were working in the Gulf or had come back from there with an already developed liking for the IS's extreme ideology. Now, what about the four girls whose story the film portrays? The film is based on the story of four women who converted to Islam and traveled with their husbands to Afghanistan to join ISIS between 2016 and 2018. Currently, they are incarcerated in an Afghan prison. In December 2019, interviews with these four women from Kerala, Nimisha alias Fatima Isa, Meryn alias Miriam, Sonia Sebastian alias Aisha and Rafella were published on the website Strat News Global under the title Corrosion Files: The Journey of Indian Islamic State Widows. The movie Kerala Story uses the story of these four women to paint a larger picture of alleged Islamic state recruitment in Kerala.